What's the secret to becoming a top performing engineer? I think it's emotional and social intelligence, or EQ and SQ. Why do I think this? As you rise up the technical ranks, your emotional and social intelligence are going to start mattering more than your technical skills because you need to understand how you fit into the organization as well as how the organization operates. So you can start to make a larger impact in the same amount of time. How are you gonna make a larger impact in the same amount of time? Well, it's been shown time and time again that the engineers with the best professional social network are the ones that can get the most done. So a lot of things that you're gonna do at work take a lot of time and it doesn't have to be your time. So you can be farming workout if you're a team lead, effectively farming workout and making sure everyone is across things and feels a valued part of the team it is very important if you want to have a very high performance organization, which I think you should. So how are you gonna get this better professional network? Well, using your emotional intelligence, you're gonna start paying better attention to yourself and learning how to empathize better with others. And after you can start having empathy for others, then we can move into social intelligence, which is gonna help you be able to understand how to professionally network better. And this will be much easier for you to professionally network because you'll have the social skills to understand what's going on, where everyone fits on the totem pole, in the rack and stack, as well as how to get people to help you and have gratitude when they help you. So asking someone for help and then vocally thanking them to where their management can hear. And I don't mean literally vocally telling them thank you. I mean something like an email to where they can take some credit for maybe helping you out when you're in a pinch. Giving thanks when people do things for you urgently is a very easy way for you to make stronger inroads with your colleagues and understand who can actually get things done in a pinch. Having those people you can call when you need things done or using them and their network to be able to find the person who can help you with your current problem is why those top performing engineers are so top performing because they know, oh, this person will know this or they'll know who will. And so one or two steps later, they know how to fix the problem or the problem is already being fixed and it doesn't even need their time. This is where we're getting into leadership. And that's why EQ and SQ are so important because as you get into leadership, it becomes a lot more about dealing with people as well as having that deep technical understanding. So if you're still an individual contributor, the technical skills are important, but if you really want to know which things to focus on, you need to understand the organization's goals either short, mid, long-term, understand the goals and find work that moves the needle for the group. And taking credit for that work that moves the needle is how you get those promotions and raises and outshine your peers. If you see someone around you at work who seems like they don't do much work but always keep getting promoted, this is probably exactly what they're doing. So start paying more attention to the actions people take over what they say they're going to do. That's why the main thing that I try to get across in this channel when it comes to EQ and SQ is paying better attention to yourself and those around you and you, all of your interactions, really everything you do, paying better attention and having integrity. So you do the things you say you're gonna do and you don't say you're gonna do things and then don't do them. And this comes down to also when you're saying things and doing things, you're not being disingenuous at any time, you need to be able to walk out of work with your head high and things might not go your way, but having your head high and having integrity is going to allow you to sleep at night. I thankfully haven't had to deal with it very often in my career, but when you find very disingenuous people, I don't know what goes through their head and what allows them to sleep. Have you seen disingenuous people in your organization get ahead? Up and out is a term that I've heard over my career where people are kind of promoted to their level of incompetence. Have you seen this in your organization? I might have seen it in one of the organizations that I've worked in in my career thus far, but thankfully it's been few and far between. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.